Hey, Woody's how you doing today? Wood Pops here. In this episode of Expressions in Wood, I'm going to be doing my second epoxy resin project. And it's going to be a big oak burl bowl. Uh, it's one of the oak burls that came from Hurricane uh, Irma in 2017. As you know, I've got a whole boatload of them and uh, still got a lot more to go. So today we're going to be making a big old bowl uh, out of this uh, oak burl. And it's going to be almost 12 inches in diameter. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I bought the five gallon pressure pot so I could get a 12 inch bowl in it. So uh, stick around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that now. Click the little bell so you'll be notified. And if you like this video, share it with your friends because that's how I grow my channel, I'd sure appreciate it. Say something down in the comments, tell me what you think, and hit that like button. So without further ado, let's jump right in here and let's do wood turning, epoxy resin, big oak burl bowl. All right, all right, all right, let's go. I have this pig perfectly balanced. If you want to see how to balance an off-shaped burl, check out the link to Lyle Jamison's website down in the description. He's got a great video on how to balance an off-center misshapen burl. You might want to check his video out. Okay, let's make this round so that we can then prepare it for epoxy resin. I'm putting on a heavy coat of Alumalite epoxy resin to seal the wood.
This huge cavity right here in the center of my bowl is an issue that I need to take care of. Now I can fill this whole cavity with resin, but who knows what that would cost? 30 bucks maybe? Which would all end up on the floor of the shop when I hollow out my bowl. So how can I solve this problem without spending a lot of time or a lot of money or wasting a lot of resin? I think I have the solution. What this is going to do is just, <clears throat> I'm just going to use resin to fill in this part right out here where I want the resin. All of this in here, if I would used resin, would have all been turned away and wasted $20, 30 40 $50 worth of resin, whereas this clay is just $2 for two pounds. It dries in 24 hours, so tomorrow I'll be able to pour resin in here. Fifteen grams. Fifteen grams. Mix for about three minutes. Okay, that's three minutes. Okay, Woodies. Now off camera, I mixed up my resin and poured it and put it in the pressure pot and left it in the pressure pot for 40 hours. So I took it out and got it on the lathe and this is what it looks like before we start turning.
I have to do something with this big inclusion here in the side of the bowl, and I didn't want to put epoxy resin in it. So I'm going to use my crushed stone uh, inlay techniques. If you want to see some videos on how I do crushed stone inlay, uh, click on that little I button up there at the top uh, right-hand corner of your screen. I've decided to put walnut colored Danish oil on this oak burl. It really makes it pop with the red and blue colors of the epoxy resin. Okay, I'm going to remove the tenon using my vacuum chuck system. It is really sweet. This is the switch that diverts the vacuum from the exhaust to the vacuum chuck.
I'm bringing up the live center for added support. I always do this just to be safe until the very last nub. And let me assure you, this vacuum chuck will hold this bowl on here securely. Okay, I'm going to have to fix this spot here. I'm going to have to stop and repair this with a little bit of a star bond and some wood flour. If you want to see my technique on how I fill cracks and voids, check out the little eye button up there on the upper right hand corner of your screen and check out the video, How to Fill Cracks and Voids. Okay, I'm gonna knock this nub off with a wood chisel and a mallet, and then we'll be ready to finish the bottom of this, which I'll do off camera, and then uh, we'll be all set for the reveal. Well, that project turned out to be a real bitch. Of course, it was my second epoxy resin, and it was a big ass burl bowl. So, what do you expect? Um, I had at one point I spilled epoxy. It came out uh, while it was in the pot. It squirted out, wasted resin. I could go on and on and tell you everything that went wrong on this project, but. That's how I learn, you know. I learn from my mistakes. I learn from watching YouTube. But uh, by far, the best way for me to learn is from mistakes. In any case, <clears throat> here's the bowl. I think it turned out pretty darn good, okay? What do you think? Tell me down there in the comments. Nice bowl. Well, if you like this episode, smash that like button down there and share it with your friends because you know that's how I grow my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you want to click on my picture down there and I've got two videos lined up for you right over there. You might want to check them out. Uh, they're both epoxy resin uh, videos. Okay, Woodies, that's it. See you in the next video. Take care.